plates for a reason. Saturday. We're just getting geared up, getting all the cameras set up, getting all the gear and the coolers loaded. Everyone's here and we're about to hit the trails at Windrock. We got a great day ahead of us. The weather is absolutely perfect today. We got a good group of guys, a smaller group, so we should get some good ground covered. There's a ton of people at Windrock today. It's gonna be a really busy day. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully we run into some other cool machines, maybe even some viewers. That'll be sweet. Today we are rocking the battle wagon. The battle wagon is out of the trailer. I brought it this whole way, so I mean, I gotta use it. Uh, it's gonna be really, really, really interesting riding the battle wagon after having ridden this thing for the last two days, which worked so much better than I ever had expected to. It, it was awesome. It didn't miss a beat the last two days. feels after riding the CF Moto. Blake, howdy, howdy. we're going to see if the battle wagon can keep up with the Z-Force on 35s. Because yeah. I'm just running little girl tires on this thing. I got 32s, right? We'll see. I That's like a CF Moto size tire. Yeah. And you're running a Razor size tire on your CF Moto. I don't know, it's backwards. Backwards. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> we got Blake's machine here, the fully built Team MSC Z-Force 950 HOEX on 35 inch rock Zillas. Things, this thing is a beast. Um, so it's gonna be really cool to see. Uh, the, I mean, the whole point is you guys want to see if a CF Moto can keep up with the Razor on the trail, and I think Blake's your guy. Yeah, we'll find out. Let's I got go. a good feeling you should have no problems today. So yeah. it'll be fun, man. It'll I'm be good. Excited. And remember, guys, the key is not what you're riding; it's the fact that you're out riding and having a good time. Exactly. So let's go fuel up, and uh, yeah. we'll hit the trails. I don't know where we're going. We're just gonna blindly follow Jason like we always do. Yeah. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah, we always make it home eventually, so. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's get a little before shot here. What's she looking like? Ooh, that's clean. It's not this fresh and clean very often. It's only so clean because we recently did a, um, the, the Toronto International Snowmobile ATV and Power Sport Show. So I had it all buffed up and cleaned up because it was on display at the Fin Trail booth. Land in the roof. Let's hit those trails. Oh man, it feels great to be in the battle wagon. You guys know I got a special spot in my heart for this machine. It's uh, coming up, coming up on seven years soon. I'll be owning this thing, and it's been a long journey with this machine, and it's still not done. It's never ending, you know. Um, it just—it's so fun taking a journey like this and um, watching this machine evolve over the years. And I know a lot of you guys like to get newer machines more frequently but a lot of us for budget reasons and other reasons like to get attached to a machine and hold on to it for a while I've always been one of those guys with my equipment whether it be cars that I modify or trucks or or anything I, I hold on to my stuff I take care of it and I make it my own um, and, and I think it's really also a cool test to show the longevity of a machine like this if you invest into a machine and you take care of it and you maintain it how much fun and how many years of service it can give you so let's go thrash this thing and um, have a good time. That's why we're here. Smash that thumbs up button and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, if you enjoy the content. If you're new here, then thank you for tuning in. I hope you stay. If, you're, if you've been here for a while, then thank you for the continual support. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Now let's get some riding in. Oh yeah. Give me that boost, baby. Man, the seating position is so different in this thing. Let's see how this thing works. Woo! Thanks for tuning in.
tuning in guys we got a great ride ahead for you today here we are going up the mountain basically driving up the road at Windrock Park which takes us to the rest of the trailheads and into some of the gravel roads that'll lead us deeper into the trail network such a washboard here Lakes machine is looking awesome it's a really mean looking Z4 950 I don't think there's many out there like this or any cool to see a machine built up like that that you're not used to seeing built up that way here we are on the trails our goal for today is work our way to cadillac hill which is considered one of the most difficult trails or climbs at wind rock park oh this is great what a view Good line. Good? Yep. And this way a bit. Yep. Skid plates for a reason. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> how going up this would be a little, tough. a little tougher
see what this thing can do, buddy. Woo. You got the tires for the job. All right, what? Did I go over there and then turn right? Where, where did he go? Uh, you should have been paying attention. Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much straight down through there. Yeah. It's a cake, brother, making oh, yeah. it look easy. Yeah, yeah, just slap the skid plate one time or, or maybe two. It was, uh, you were hitting that, that yeah, front you hit the, bumper. Your thing, hitch, thing. your hitch is smacking. Yeah, and yeah. your front bumper, that little corner on That's it, you gotta it. round them off. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the rops will take care of that. <laughs> How'd you feel? Oh, uh, it felt good. I do, I don't like how I can't see real well in the 950. Yeah. I can't, I can't really see. And then, my harness is being a little tight. So um, as much. what I do on trails like this, yeah, that might not be exactly the like proper way of doing it, but when I ran the regular four point harnesses, yeah. the likelihood of you rolling over on this right. is almost zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it is a roll, it's a layover. Yeah. yeah. You're not going upside down. Yeah. I just wear the rat lap belt. Yeah. And it gives yeah. you the ability to lean out your door. That's right. And I've That's rolled right. my machine. I mean, no, I haven't, uh, <laughs> but I rolled my machine twice if not three times yeah. and once on the roof with just the lap belt i didn't go nowhere right it's right. not those it's, it won't survive a violent roll but like a layover yeah you're fine yeah yeah that's right no, it's frowned upon, but i know i slip an arm out every once in a while me too keep my keep my yeah. outside shoulder strap in but undo this one so you can kind yep. of yep. still got that movement okay yep. so yep. what's better keeping your harness on and rolling or slipping out of the harness a little bit and seeing where you're going right right so you don't roll yeah that's that gray line, you know? <laughs> the gray zone. That's where we like to play. Now Mike's the real man hitting this on 30s. He said he's just gonna send it. Okay, stand back. <laughs> Show us how the men do it. With, my baby wheels. With your baby wheels, yeah. It's not all about size, brother. Right. All about motion. <laughs> you got the motion down. I'm gonna give that one to Mike. <laughs> yeah, he picked. That old turtle shell, they went. Yeah, but he pulled himself out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did well there. That was a yeah. good line. Yeah. Oh, he's coming back up at y'all. No. <laughs> <laughs> rental paint? Oh, yeah. Is Somebody. that a rental? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Windrock glue. There was a few trails we were on yesterday, and I'm, I think I seen a rainbow of paint on some of those rocks. If only they could keep track of the damage and money. What's that? A camera mount? No, a uh, hit, trailer hitch. Somebody, oh. Somebody's plug. Oh, they, well, they don't need that around here. They lost a whole bumper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
ready to carry on? Let's keep rolling. The trail difficulty ratings are a little confusing, they're just basic guidelines. A lot of hardened riders would argue that even the most difficult trails aren't really that hard, and there's a lot of variables that play into that, but generally a trail is rated based on the most difficult obstacle you may encounter on that trail that you can't really just get around, and then they'll base the rating off that because if you can't get over, if you can get over that difficult one, you can get through the rest of the trail. So a lot of trails with difficult obstacles can actually be fun and scenic trails like you're seeing here, and it gives you a good variety, which is the most fun type of ride in my opinion. You go out there and you get a little bit of everything from extreme rock crawls and climbs to mud holes and, and just some nice open scenic trail riding with some scenic overlooks because we're in the mountains. And uh, I mean that makes for a great day of riding. Riding on this super rocky terrain is a lot of fun. There's these rock gardens just thrown all over the trails, like everywhere you go. You're just riding down this open trail and all of a sudden you hit this like bouldered out section and, it, and it's just, it's a blast. Now obviously we're going down this, so as long as you pick decent lines, it's pretty easy. Uh, going up it would definitely be more of a challenge and a ton of fun, uh, but the reason, like I said earlier, we're working our way this way is because we want to go up Cadillac Hill and this trail is going to take us there. Well, at least according to Jason, this is the way to go.
worth it to hit. Start tipping up, you gas it. You'll feel it when it gets on easy. I'll be glad to go with it. You're good. Oh, yeah. Actually, that thing, the suspension has less travel. It did better. Yeah. You pushed it back up. Yeah. yeah. We're unloading a lot more than you did. Yeah. He's a little more narrow. Right. He might fit through there. If she gets tippy, remember, hands in the vehicle. Yeah, same thing. A little bit less suspension, a little bit less tire, and it, it holds better. How far? It's always a lot of fun watching different machines hit the same obstacle and, and seeing how they take it and, and how the chassis works and how the different tires work and all that stuff. It's also a big reason I love trying different machines whenever I get the chance to because it, it lets you experience terrain from a completely different perspective. Oh, this one's really off camber here too. My machine's probably the least stable out of all of these out here today, as far as center of gravity and stuff is concerned. It's a heck of a lot better than it used to be, back when I had that Razorback off-road rack and all that top weight. But it still leaves a little bit to be desired, which is why I was saying I think I need to dial that suspension in just a little bit more and tweak it. Look at this guys, just stopped and this is off to the side of the trail. What a beautiful sight. This is awesome. Wow. sure many of you will agree when I say that to me one of the most important parts of any ride is good scenery and just the pleasure that being outdoors provides. The beauty of off-roading is it can take you to so many places you otherwise wouldn't see.
kind of going to go to the right a little. Whoa, it's just pulling you right over. Let me yeah. see your back. Huh? Let me see the back. Oh, yeah, you're uh, up on your trailing arm here. The skip plate's got a good workout, but see if you can go backwards. I think you can get in here and then cock it. I don't know. I don't know. The same place he did? Yep. Okay. I'm with it. Yep. Worst case, we'll stand on a tree kicker and get you up there. Or, worst, worst case, we'll pull you a cord. This is a serious climb for Mike on those 30s. Yeah.
This is just insane. Bro, this is crazy. This is what we signed up for, brother. <laughs> well, I don't know, did we? <laughs> Are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, then you signed up for the right I one. I guess so, I guess so, that's right. Dude. Wow. Wow. Isn't this what you built it to do? Yeah. Cadillac Hill, this is what that is. This is Cadillac Hill? And you're almost up it. Oh my goodness. In a CF Moto Z Force 950, brother. Wow, that's insane. I didn't even know what we were on, but I knew it was something This special. might be the first Z making it up Cadillac here. Yeah, yeah. On video, at least. Yeah, on video. Yeah, I kind of snuck you in here, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know this was Cadillac Hill. I popped right out in the middle of it. he told me. <laughs> this is insane. Your machine's working great. Your machine's always working great. Oh, yeah, dude. I think it's the nut behind the wheel, though. That has a lot to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike is just defying all the laws of physics. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, you should have seen, you see him like us? He's up here like he's sideways. Yeah. Uh, we're probably fixing to have to pull some cord. Man, we didn't have to pull right any cord yet. I mean, this is, this is it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. What a hill. You never let us down, man. Never. <laughs> never. Put her here. Um, no, oh, you know what? This is, is, it's not a bad spot to lay over in a worst case scenario. You're not likely going far. No. I almost feel like, feel like you get I, one shot over there. One shot. But if you slide, you'll just, you'll topple. I think this is going to be it to go this way. Or you go this way because you got the safety bank. That's, what I'm, that's the way I'm going to try. And you got this body modification tool here. I see my rear fender already over that right now. As soon as the front comes off of this. Yeah, that's what? Four feet? Three feet? Oh, every bit of it. Yeah. Three and a half feet. That's the way everybody's going. Right Looks like there's a side-by-side -side buried in here. Ah. Here I come. I ain't real sure yet. You think going to the right's the better choice then? That's, that's where I'm headed. I think so too. Yeah. You can use gravity to help you on the right. You're fighting gravity on the left. Yeah. Like you said, the only way would be one shot. Yeah, but you would really have to lay into it. When you get here, it's gonna come. You gotta pull yourself out with throttle and that can get like, there's a, there's rocks there you could smack yeah. into. Yeah. I'm this gonna, is a better option. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to At least for attempt one, I would start with the right. You don't think I should pull rope from here? Do I need to answer that? I'm surprised you even have a winch on that thing. Oh my god. I gotta have somebody attached to my trailer. <laughs> Cadillac Hill, guys. This is insane. Am I good there? On this side, yes. You got about a foot. These rocks could sink the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job, bud. Walk right on. Well done, man. Appreciate that. Just Blake, like show that. us how the CF Motos do it. Okay. It'll crawl right up it, man. Hey, he's got a little bit bigger tire. Yeah. Touch, but we'll have to pull a cord for, for Mike. We might, yep. Just mm -hmm. because of that rock right there. Yeah. Unless he can get over far enough and it climbs. Well, he's not scared of ripping his fenders off. We know that. What do you need fenders for? <laughs> Fenders are overrated. You standing there really makes this look big. Does it? Yeah. Imagine this if it was wet. Oh, Impossible. Can't, can't. Oh, he's warming up his tires. I like it. A little free warm. Okay. This, this Yeah, it looks 
peasy. I gotta admit that thing's working well. My turn! Hope the battle wagon can handle it. I don't want Mike one up in me again. <laughs> here we are on rock. Here we are on rock bouncer trails. <laughs> yeah. oh, you did good, man. <laughs> You're flying that like a boss. Yeah. What's that? Oh my god. Skid like plate. Boss. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. You left some pink paint behind. I bet. <laughs> okay, my turn. Well, we know it can be done because <laughs> it just got done twice. That's supposed to make me feel more confident, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Why aren't you guys saying anything? <sighs> okay, let's send her. He has never let us down. <laughs> Razor HP 1000 on 30. The rocking trail, baby. You ready to pull my winch? <laughs> no, you got it. Hey, if if he does this, can we even brag? Not at all. We can't yeah. even post them. They're yeah. ours. <laughs> 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 we can't post nothing but his. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julian. What? You realize if Mike gets up this, we can't even brag. No, we can't. We can't even post ours. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, because Mike is driving a stock rock and trail, like a 21 or something. Yeah, 21 rock yeah. and trail. Sure stock is. tires, stock arms, upgraded radius rods, but those don't help nothing. <laughs> stock tune, stock bumpers, 30 inch tires. Yes. And he's got well, he's got a different tire on the rear. Yeah. Because we got yes. flat yesterday. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Man. <sighs> It's, you know, it's, it's that whole, it's not all about size. You don't need 35s. Well, you do need your I, machine to start, though. I kind of did. There we go. Oh, okay. You needed 35s? No, you didn't. <laughs> you chose to have them. <laughs> Remember, we talked about that need word. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Oh. Hold on one sec. My camera's glitched. That's just swallowing his tires. Look at it drive up. Hey Mike, you know that saying? Thank you. Thank you. You know that saying? Friends don't let friends ride stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real men ride stock. Real men ride stock. <laughs> Bone stock. Bone stock. Dude, 
Congratulations. Yeah, Cadillac baby. Hill, baby. Get it, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a Polaris oh, Rock and Trail Edition. Yes, sir. Would it be made for things like this? I believe it's designed for this kind of <laughs> rock and uh, trail. trail. <laughs> uh -huh. Woo, that was great. What a rush. I was sure I was pulling weight. Dude, you you timed wow. that throttle perfectly with the wheels up and then boom, pulled you right off. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't care what they say about you. You might know what you're doing from time to time. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Learning. What That's a time. Oh, what do you, how do you feel? Uh, I'm out of breath because I was wearing a helmet and trying to climb that hill. But man, that was awesome. That was awesome to be able to, to be able to climb that Cadillac hill and a Z-Force. That's impressive. We all did so well there. That was awesome. I'm, I'm super excited. That right there we made it worth the trip, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you having some, some ale? Yeah. They yeah. didn't take your ginger ale, at least. And they didn't take my ginger ale. Is that Canada dry? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. yeah I represent. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys got that video. We did. Oh, we were supposed to film you? We, could, we can't post your part, though, because it'll make all of us look bad. Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> like, we can't even brag now. Oh, well. You know what? Wow. You're right. You can, you see we can't even brag about this because Mike just did it on 30s. Yeah. Worn out 30s. Well, I need new ones for. <laughs> All joking aside, though, it's incredible what these machines can claw their way up. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's absolutely Boom, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it also comes down to it's knowing your machine. You got to yep. to know your yep. machine. Yep. You know yep. Yep. And I mean, we are also hitting this in the yeah. optimal yeah. conditions. Thank you. That's right. right. It's nice and dry. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm still learning. But choosing the wrong line in a few of those spots, you can, oh, yeah. you can end up in a real, real bad situation yeah, quick. Absolutely. Like, how are you going to top this now? What a, what a Devil's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> this is, was this the warm up trail? <laughs> Wait for it. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah. Uh, almost forgot the camera. We got so excited we made it up. We were going to leave the camera here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was freaking wild. I don't know how good it looks on video, but this is definitely not a beginner climb. We, all the machines did so well. You need an alignment. <laughs> Damn, not bad. <laughs> it's sail buff out, right? Our Cadillac's not bad. The airplane <laughs> sort of sucks. <laughs> Needless to say, Cadillac Hill was freaking awesome. All the machines did so good, I'm so pumped we made it up. There is a huge variety of trails here at Windrock and a huge variety of different machines out enjoying them. From dirt bikes to ATVs and side-by-sides, rock bouncers, Jeeps, and all sorts of other trucks. It's a really awesome place, and if you're thinking about visiting Windrock, then it's definitely a great place to go and spend a few days. There's a lot of options in the area for where to stay, whether you want to camp, take your RV, or rent a house. This makes it a great place regardless of group size or budget. <laughs> you guys having fun or what? Absolutely. Yeah? yeah. Nice spot for a photo here. Yeah. What a wicked spot to stop here on G39. Got set up here for a nice group shot. Just relaxing, hanging out. Enjoying the beautiful weather and the awesome trails. Great company. Well, it's mostly great company. Then there's that Mike guy, making us all look bad. <laughs> what are you eyeing that CF Moto? Is that your next machine? I'm looking at it, man. It's pretty impressive. It's impressive what it's been doing. It's, that's just a fact. I've been hearing a bit of a noise. I don't know if you guys remember the West Virginia videos where the sway bar decided to detach itself. You think it the plastic? No, it's like oh, this it. piece of crap tin it's attached to. It's easy to grease now. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this side ripped off. We fixed the other side. When I was doing the cage, I was going to re-weld this one and we forgot to do it. And I'm like, ah, hopefully it'll hold. Well, I guess my better judgment, it didn't. Cadillac Hill said no. Cadillac Hill said no. <laughs> So we're going to be rocking no rear sway bar again. 
that can be good and bad at the same that's time. Rocking, yeah. That's rocking. Yeah. That's rocking. We'll take it easy. <laughs> you can't even out. keep a straight face when you say easy. that. We're not going to go around. Whatever, I don't care. Built this cage for a reason. Your mic coming in for the save like usual with the tools. You know the drill. Yeah, yeah. I, know the drill. I wreck it, you hold the camera. Okay. You wreck it, I hold the camera. So we're just gonna unhook the sway bar end link and um, then zip tie this out of the way. Now the key is not to drop this in the creek. Yes. Might as well just pop this guy back in here. You guys don't need to see this. We're gonna get cruising again. So my rear sway bar bracket on the driver's side ripped off from the frame. Back in West Virginia, it happened to my passenger side and I welded it back on real good when we did the cage and we were gonna soup up the one on the uh, driver's side. We totally forgot about it and I'm paying the price for it now. What a stupid mistake. Oh man, it's like a slinky. I'm gonna have to remember that sway bar is disconnected because um, she gonna be soft. She's gonna flex good, but she's gonna roll over good too. I have to admit that I really do like driving with the rear sway bar unhooked and uh, I've never got my front sway bar in. It's just so comfortable, the suspension feels so good, the machine flexes out so awesome, but there are definitely some limiting factors to doing it. And that's why overall I still usually like to run with my rear sway bar connected. There's more pros to having it connected than cons I find overall. But in specific scenarios, there are definitely huge pros to having both your sway bars and huge pros to not having any. So it's it's kind of like, you know, like everything we do, it's a trade-off. This is going to be interesting. because that machine has 35s, but it has similar ground clearance to us on 32s. Right. Oh, he's just gonna send it. He's gonna send it. We always think something's gonna, we should know better. We were actually saying a second ago that you are on 35s, but you have similar ground clearance to us on 32s. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's just the way the, the chassis is laid yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And I, like I said, I got my preload loose. You're sitting up. a little low? I yeah. I need to send it back up. So that would help with that big time. So mm -hmm. I could raise it probably two inches. and That would have helped you there for sure, yeah. Because these high clearance trailing arms. Oh, yeah. The trailing arms are a big change, yeah. Huge. We've got high clearance trailing arms, yeah. Okay. Where you're hitting trailing arm, we're not. Your tire was in the hole. Yeah. The trailing arms are on those right, holding up. So yeah, it's yeah. just letting you spin. Yep. And it feels weird driving this thing again with no sway bar. Oh, All it, the front wheel just tries to lift on any off camber. <laughs> I just keep telling myself, lay yeah. into it. the drone there working his magic I'll show you guys that drone shot in a second if he's nice enough to share it with me of course, <laughs> of course. look at this mountain view another stunning view can't get enough of this I needed some trail therapy 
feel a lot more energized after just being out here for a few days. Oh, more machines. We're just on the top of some mountain here, hanging out. Oh, a general, nice. I like the generals. They're cool machines, they look awesome. Kind of feel like getting a four seat general. They look so cool. Look at Jason's roof. Yeah, Barrett did that roof, right? Yeah, sir. One and only. One and only. Barrett Hepburn Design. Not the other guy. Nope. He did our wraps. He also did uh, Zach's wrap for America from Dirt Dudes. Man, this is so cool. It is. What, what, what else would you do that would be this cool? I mean, you can watch TV. There's a lot of cool stuff <laughs> have, on the TV. pretty cool watching videos. Right yeah. I mean, if you're not out here riding, the only thing cooler, or almost as cool, I would say, is watching these videos.
didn't get your name, but I hope you see yourself in this video. That'd be super cool. I've met a bunch of viewers out here. Everywhere we go now, we run into someone that watches the videos. It makes me so happy. Um, not because I care about like publicity. I really don't care about that. Um, it's just I love meeting with people that, that are into this stuff. And, and the community around the YouTube channel that just keeps growing and it's amazing. And, and you get to share these experiences with so many awesome people. And I've made so many friendships doing it. It's, um, it's absolutely awesome. I always say that meeting people that watch the videos and then eventually getting a chance to ride with some of them is the highlight of this whole YouTube channel for me. And that's true, it's always been about the community to me. Uh, that's what I love about off-roading, that's what I like about the side-by-side -side community is there's a ton of great people in it. There's also a lot of really good brands that are run by those really great people we just talked about. I'm lucky enough to have the opportunity to work with some of those brands. Running the YouTube channel and creating consistent content like this would not be possible without my brand partnerships and sponsors. Most of all though, none of this would be possible without you guys the viewers, so big shout out to everyone who supports the channel. Thank you. Another scenic overlook. Those guys uh, that let us by, the one guy was like talking to me. He's like, I watch your videos. Yeah, that's what I, told him. I said, I said they found a fan. I think the guy that, that, that first let us over, I think he's probably said something to the other one. He stood up and took a picture. Oh, did he? Another nice view. I feel that drone shots do a really good job giving more perspective to the type of terrain that we're riding in. When you look around us and see the mountains and the valleys, the ups and downs, it gives you more of an idea of what the terrain on the trails looks like because sometimes the cameras just don't do the best job catching all that depth while you're out on the trail. Oh! Uh, 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 you crashed into your crashed cell. Into you crashed hey, but watch into this. your cell. It's fine? Watch this. Well, that was a good thing to crash into. Ain't a thing. That's awesome. Ooh, that was close. Gotta be quick. Okay. That last scenic overlook was a great way to finish off the ride. It's starting to get dark now, so we're working our way down the main driveway here at Windrock and working our way out of the park. We all need to head back home tomorrow morning and we've still got to rinse off the machines, grab dinner, and get the trailers loaded up. Now that it's starting to get dark, you can see everyone flooding out of the park at once. It's like trail traffic. It's really cool to see how many people were out enjoying themselves with friends and family, kids. And speaking of friends, family, kids, enjoying yourselves, this next section of video guys is, um, in my opinion, heartwarming and by far one of the best experiences I've ever had since starting the YouTube channel. So I just want to share it with you guys and um, I hope you see the value in it too. That Major. Hey, Major. <laughs> he uh, he Wait, watches watch. your channel. Yeah, 
channel. Yeah? Non-stop. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Put you through that. Hey, it's what he loves and enjoys. So. We have searched cool. for you awesome. for two days. Yeah. That's all he's talked about is finding you. Did you message on Facebook? Yeah. My wife sent me a screenshot. Did she? Yeah. I have to be looking on there because the reception's like in and yeah. out, right? It's terrible. That's cool. I'm so glad you found he us. He saw your trailers coming in. He was like, that's his truck. Oh, <laughs> really? You recognize yeah. your truck? Yeah. Awesome. He said, that's his gray truck right there, Dad. It is. I it said, is. Yeah, son, you're right. Cool. Can we have a yeah. picture? Do you care? Can I? Yeah. yeah. let's do it. Here. Like, hold on. You need to take your clothes off. Your clothes shirt off for just a second. You should he's, got the your, he's got your shirt on, too. Really? Yeah. Here, take a second off. He's got your red one on? Yeah. He started watching your channel when he was doing treatment and like going in and out of hospitals and I stuff. I really commented that on one of his posts yeah, one time. I yeah, that. he started watching and he's been watching ever since. That's he was, awesome. He was 11 months old when he uh, when he was diagnosed. Uh, and hey, he's buddy. Five now, so. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Here, sit with him. Yeah, let's get a picture. Do you want to sit in the razor? you watch the videos you like them yeah you gonna get a razor when you're older you want one well maybe you'll get one my kids want razors too <laughs> how old are you five cool did you have fun riding today yeah it's to get the next generation hooked. Yeah. I think we got him, right? He is definitely hooked, I'm telling you. <laughs> hook, line, and sinker. Well, that's hook, cool. Line. 
Maybe days. next time he's here, I'll take him for a ride in the battle wagon. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, that'd be I'd awesome. Be, Nothing to be shy about. We're all friends, right? Yeah. See, now you met him. So that makes washing it even better. You, yeah. might become a, you might become a superstar. Might be you one day. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Anyone can. Be the next adrenaline junkie. <laughs> he's already in the 2.0. Right. That's right. He's there, man. I'm down. That's well, right. we it's appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank Coming you. By, yeah. you it's a pleasure so to meet you. you nice too. to meet you, buddy. I hope I see you again, okay? Have fun watching the videos. <laughs> see you, bud. Nice to meet you. See you, too. Be <laughs> safe, hate it home tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, Say it. Thank you. You guys be safe too. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> oh man, that made my night. It is. Yeah. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was awesome meeting you, Major. Uh, next time you're coming for a ride in the battle wagon, right? Oh yeah, man. Highlight of the trip right there. You can see I got a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> I think I'm I'm almost as happy as when I made it up Cadillac Hill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good there. Yeah, man. Should we rock and roll? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's roll. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> hey, Major, you rock, buddy. It was awesome meeting you, your friend, and your parents. I hope we can meet on the trails again in the near future. We are just heading down the mountain, heading back to camp, and we're gonna get all ready to leave tomorrow. Uh, I got about a 12 or 13 hour drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna leave bright and early. Anyways guys, like I said earlier, thank you so much for all the continual support you guys show, and you are who makes this channel what it is. It'd be nothing without the viewers, and a little major there just proved that. If you'd like to help support the channel, then the best way to do that is just share the content guys, it doesn't cost you anything, and smash that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you do watch a lot of the videos, then hit that subscribe, guys. It really helps the videos get seen by more people on YouTube. And um, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, growing the community and getting out, ride more. And if you'd like to help support the channel any other way, then consider shopping with some of our sponsors. Support those who support us. And you can also head on over to our Shopify store. You can get yourself some cool stickers, shirts, sweaters, stuff like that. I'll be adding some really cool new merchandise designs in the next month or two. We're just finalizing them. We're gonna kick it up a notch and we're gonna restock the entire store. Uh, so that's gonna be a big goal for 2024. All the proceeds we generate from the store and the videos go back into creating more content for you guys to enjoy because the overall goal is to just keep growing this so that we can work on bigger and badder projects into the future. Ride safe out there and we'll see you in the next video.